Hello? The original video was removed by YouTube, so I had to re-upload the video on another website. Please follow the link in the description. The project was designed to bring two services together, so primary care diabetes service, secondary care diabetes service into one unified service for patients. The previous diabetes patient pathway contained primary care, who had their own primary care service specification. You had secondary care, they had their own outcomes to achieve, and they received payment through payment by results tariff. But we didn't want to do that. We wanted to create one patient pathway which brought primary care and secondary care together. They have one shared service specification. They have four shared key performance indicators. And the payment and contracting mechanism changed where they were paid a semi-block contract with full payment received only on achieving the above. This meant that secondary care had to support primary care and primary care had to support secondary care. This was a big change to how the diabetes service was run and we wanted to give every adult with diabetes on the island an opportunity to comment on the care they receive at the end of the first year. Overall there was a good response rate, especially compared to other health surveys and demonstrated 95% patient satisfaction. Because as a team, as an island, we deliver good diabetes care and this has come across both in the patient survey and the way that we have pulled together as an island with both primary and secondary care. This has been a really successful project and now the Department of Health are looking at this to roll out nationally. The reason it's so successful is because the funding follows the patient, it's brought two services into one unified service and it means that patients can access care when they need it, where they need it.